So I was on the forums, or no, I was on my YouTube channel the other day looking at some comments, and I get this comment about once a month saying, or maybe about once every two weeks, saying, wow, you rush his base, and most likely it's on the Absolution series, of course. Um, but I just wanted to talk about rushing because I don't think it was uh, directly announced ever between a YouTuber or just ranting or something like that. But I wanted to talk about it because I think it's kind of like a big issue. So a lot of people... <clears throat> so a lot of people, they link the game, they link Boom Beach with Clash of Clans, and because it's made by the same developers, it's pretty much the exact same layout, just with different, like, uh, gameplay, uh, gameplay, whatever you want to call it, modes, or something like that, um, but yeah, it's pretty much exactly like Clash of Clans, um, the basis of a base building game, so a lot of people think, since it's bad to rush in Clash of Clans, it's bad to rush in Boom Beach, and this is totally wrong, it's exactly the opposite, you do want to rush in Boom Beach, and I'm just gonna briefly touch on it in this video, and we are gonna be taking out Hammerman in the background. Okay, so first I just wanted to touch on some base defenses, because it kinda links in, First of all, you're never, ever, ever going to be able to 100% defend every single battle in Boom Beach. Now, you might, like, any anything you're going to be able to play, any base bowling game, you're never going to be able to do that because the always the offense always has to be defense. There can never be a defense that's stronger than an offense. Yeah, an offense is, like, 100% impossible to destroy. Now, you could get close to it, of course. You could get all defensive statues, boost them all up. That's one way you, you'll pull off a lot of successful victories. A lot of people will find new opponent, but you're never, ever, ever going to win in Boom Beach. Like, I just want to show you my deal, base log. Now, I have no uh, defensive statues, and look at this, though. No one beats me. I barely even get diamonds. It's crazy how many people beat me. I don't defend. That's what I meant to say. I hear that guy retreated. But you don't win battles. It's just something in Boom Beach. Um, Clash of Clans, you might win a few battles. Uh, actually, you win quite a few battles in Clash. But in Boom Beach, you don't lose. You, you, you lose almost every single battle. And if, you, if you're a defensive player, I mean offensive player, so a lot of people think that it's bad to rush. In reality, it's not. So um, in Clash of Clans, first of all, you can't relate to two games. Two games do not link whatsoever. Playing one game won't help you play the other game. It might help you like what a base builder is, but in reality, it's not going to help you at all. And it's just it's so sad that people are linking the two. And I think the Boombie team gets annoyed sometimes because of this. People think that... Uh, since it's made by the same developer, maybe the same developers are working on it. Totally different teams, totally different styles of the game. No way, in no way can you link them together. They are totally separate. So when people say, uh, while you rush to base, there's nothing wa wrong with rushing to base in Boom Beach. You upgrade your HQ, and I, I, I prefer if someone upgrades all offense. Like, if someone was to upgrade all offense, like I'm doing in my Absolution series, they'd be able to attack stronger players and get more loot. And in the end, they'll be able to build faster buildings. But on the downside, they'll probably get pummeled a couple more times than a person who has a base. Um, it's just what happens. Because there's always people... Look at this medic healing party. Come on. There's always people... This is not going to die, is it? <laughs> There's always people that will just be able to plumb on your base. There's no way you're going to defend. So, in in reality, if you are rushing your Boom Beach base, it's fine. That's what it should be. Because the more you upgrade your offensive buildings, like your Sculpture, your Gumboat, your HQ. Like, I, w I posted a video. It was HQ 11 upgrading. I had one defense. And people were like, wow, you rush. And I agree, it is rushed to an extent. But that's the point of the series one. And the other point is, rushing is good in Boom Beach. You need to rush. You can't hold back. I see people maxing out their base in Boom Beach. And it is so sad because it is so pointless. And it's just such a waste of time. If you max out your base in Boom Beach, stop maxing your base out. There's absolutely no point in it, and I can't stress this enough. Upgrading your HQ, you don't need max defenses. I think the problem is a lot of people think that max defenses will help them win more base logs, but that's just not the case. You're gonna, even if you have max defenses like me, you're still gonna lose battles. So what I, I encourage you guys to do is upgrade your HQ whenever you can. As soon as you unlock the next level, you upgrade it. Then as soon as that 
that's done, upgrade your vault, upgrade your sculpture, upgrade your prototype, upgrade your gumbo, upgrade your landing crafts, and by that time, it in upgrade your armory, and upgrade your radar, and upgrade all those main support buildings, not offensive buildings, I mean, it's more, uh, it's like a group of offensive buildings, it's called support buildings, stuff that helps you in the battle, or helps you other places, and it's going to help you a lot more, because think about it, you could either stay at, let's just say HQ10, and let's just say, yeah, let's just say HQ10, no, I don't know for sure what unlocks itself, but we're just going to make it theoretical, um, let's say at HQ10, you upgrade, uh, you, you're trying to max out HQ10, now you have two choices, you could one, upgrade your HQ to the next level, get another level, level sculptor, which means you'll get another statue you could place on your island, or, you could max out your base and still get destroyed by bases. Maxing out your base isn't going to be pointless, and upgrading your HQ is going to help more because you'll get that never level sculptor, which means you'll get another statue, which means in the end, you'll be able to get more, uh, you could you could even get more defenses, which will help you more than maxing out your base. So, this is like totally a rant, and I know I, can't, I keep repeating myself, but in reality, guys, just stop maxing out your bases and start just upgrading them as soon as you upgrade get the new HQ level upgrade it you will unlock new troops which will help you more like scorchers don't you need scorchers scorchers are the best troop for clearing your map you gotta get scorchers ASAP and get those scorchers upgraded but the only way you're gonna get scorchers is if you upgrade your HQ and I'm not saying don't upgrade any defenses I'm just saying upgrade all your support buildings and then if there's extra you need to upgrade um, and support buildings, like I said before, is radar, gunboat, all of those buildings. And then if there's more you have to upgrade, I would say upgrade rocket launchers or shock launchers or boom cannons. And by that time, you should be able to upgrade your HQ. And just upgrade your HQ again and then do the exact same strategy over again. And this base is going to go down. Come on, guys. Come on. No. This is five. I don't know if this is five. But yes. Um, now, that's another point. I guess, I guess Hammerman, it will be harder to defend Hammerman. Uh, with bad worse defenses, but I, I think it's not that's not a risk taker That's not something that needs to change. You know, it's it's not gonna be make that big of a deal But I, I think that maxing out your I mean just upgrading HQ as fast as possible will help you more in the end and I just it's just it's just sad, you know, I get so annoyed when people say wow you rushed and in reality I'm just like nope and then everyone says, oh, oh, yeah, okay. But it's just stop maxing out your base because I feel like Clash of Clans gets a bad rep. So people think Boom Beach should also get a bad rep. And I just don't want the games to be linked. The games are totally different. You can't take one thing from another. Like, shields. Uh, let's just talk about multiple builders. People want multiple builders in Boom Beach. They're not going to bring out multiple because, because Clash of Clans has multiple builders. If there was no Clash of Clans game. Boom Beach just came out. People would be saying, and Clash of Clans came out after Boom Beach. People would be saying in Clash of Clans, oh, bring out uh, shorter upgrade times because that's what Boom Beach has. But in reality, the upgrade times are exactly the same between Boom Beach and Clash of Clans. It's just the builders. So it's like uh, in Boom Beach, it takes an average of, I guess, it takes an average of 12 to, to one day, 12 to a day. Or 12 to a day and a half to upgrade buildings. And in Clash of Clans, it takes an average of like a week. Or something like that. I don't know. But since you have multiple builders in Clash of Clans, you divide that by the number of builders you have. And it will bring you down to, it's like, I can't remember, it was like a two hour, I don't know, it was like a two hour, um, it was like a 12 hour thing. So, like, Boom Beach takes 12 hours on average to upgrade a building. I did all the math once, and Clash of Clans took like 14 hours to upgrade a building. So... Like, it, that's just, that's just one example, you know? You can't, you can't take something from Clash and bring it in, boom. But anyway, guys, I hope you like this little rant video. I just wanted to touch on this because I feel like it's an issue in Boom Beach. And I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.